<sighs> it's hot. So we're staying, well, not at the yurts, but we're staying at my parents' house for a, a good more chunk of time. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you why. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. We are in the process of paying off $300,000 worth of debt as quickly as possible. It's going to take between three and four years at the rate we're going. Mauricio and I have decided we are going to stay at my parents' house for probably at least another year. And I wanted to explain to you why. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes right now. And I haven't really discussed it because it was kind of up in the air. And truthfully, it's still kind of up in the air. Okay, so the camera got too hot where I was sitting and I had to move to a shadier area. So let me keep going. So there are three situations that are keeping us at my parents' house right now. First, Melina is having some pretty intense medical testing that's gonna cost about $4,000 out of pocket and then based on the diagnosis, they will reimburse us. It's not something we're gonna get into on the channel, but just know that's $4,000, which is intense. It's a lot of money. And so maybe we'll get reimbursed, maybe we won't. We decided, we debated about it for a long time and decided that it's her medical life and that is far more important than any debt payoff program at the moment. So we definitely think it's medically necessary. So number two, well, not our issue is directly impacting our debt payoff. So what happened is Mauricio's sister and her husband are up here or were up here in Northern Virginia studying at um, Northern Virginia Community College and they were going to be moving into a new university. Mauricio's sister decided to go back to Columbia for a trip. She hadn't been home in several years and wanted to go and see her family. So they paid for the whole trip and she went back to visit everybody. And during the time that she left Columbia to now, they, the Colombian government changed their passport. So she was required to get a new passport issued and consequently had to go over to the U.S. Embassy to get a new student visa issued. And when she went to get the new student visa issued, it had her visa got revoked. She hasn't done anything illegal or anything wrong even. But for whatever reason, they decided to revoke it. We suspect that it was revoked because we had applied for a green card for her. And because there is so much student visa fraud, it did show an intent to stay in the United States after she finished college, even though that was never her plan. So they went ahead and revoked it. So unfortunately, she wasn't even able to come back and get her stuff. It was all here with her husband. So he, his visa is still in place. And there was a brief period of time where they were trying to decide if he was going to stay in school here and finish out his college and she was going to stay in Columbia, but they have decided that two years separated is far too much for them and he would miss the first two years of his kid's life. And I totally get that. I wouldn't do it. So he's going to go back. How does this impact us? Well, we co-signed on their student loans. And while they were planning on paying them all back, there is no amount, uh, there's no salary that they can make in Columbia that will give them enough money to pay their loans back. So we will be paying their loans back. We knew that was a risk when we signed for it. So it, you know, it is what it is. We're, we're going to be paying their school loans back. We're not upset about it. We're just going to pay it back. It is going to add six months to our snowball. Once everything is finalized and all their loans are finalized, we're going to roll them into our snowball right where they go and just bang them out as quickly as possible. And that it shouldn't add more than, you know, four to six months to our our overall debt payoff. So we will be extending our debt payoff some, but it is, you know, it is what it is. And then the third thing and probably the major thing that's impacting us leaving 
is my parents have decided that they are going to move into a retirement facility. One of those multi-level places that has everything from full independent care all the way up to full nursing care, memory care. So for the last several months, I have been visiting facilities with my parents and they have narrowed it down to two facilities that they really like, and they are beautiful. I mean, really, really lovely places. One of them, even I said, I was like, I'll move in here. Y'all can stay in the house. I'll move in here. <laughs> They're super nice. How does this impact us? Over the past few years, Mauricio and I have pretty much taken over doing everything in the house. And we do all of the cooking and and everything like that and for us to leave right now would kind of leave my parents high and dry and they'd have to go back to taking care of everything and I don't know that they're physically in a place where they can so we don't know how long it will be before they can move into this place the wait list for is a hundred percent dependent on the size of the place that they pick and they're looking at two bedroom and a den places so the wait list could be anything from six months to four or five years. We just don't know. And so we're going to go ahead and hang out for a year until we have a better idea of how long the process is going to take. And once they are gone, we are likely going to be able to rent their house. And that is the ideal situation for Melina. It'll keep her in the same schools. We love this neighborhood. Love, love it so much and we don't really want to take her away from that so it has its perks for us to stay and while we don't know how long it's going to be before that happens the longer we stay the more debt we pay off so you know it it all works out in the end so now you're all relatively speaking caught up and know what's going on so i'll see you in the next one See ya. We're out.